picking up the pieces as its residents attempt to get back to their daily routines. The separatists set fire to cars, trash cans and used petrol bombs. Spanish police in turn used tear gas, rubber bullets and batons to quell the violence. The authorities defended their actions, insisting they will not back down. It's true there are very large, peaceful protests that represent the free exercise of the fundamental right to assembly and protest in a democratic state. But the damage, not only material damage, but the damage to Catalonia's image internationally is also big, and there are some people who are responsible for encouraging it. The mood on the streets was one of defiance, despite the widespread acknowledgement that violence hasn't helped. Thousands of university and high school students marched through the city of Barcelona, calling on the Spanish government to release nine separatist leaders who were jailed on Monday. I would like to be independent, but it is impossible. They say it would be a disaster for us, but it would be a disaster for Spain, actually. That generational gap in perception was supported by some students on the street. My parents don't like the streets being blocked. They don't think it's fair, but they say it's the constitution. But other older Catalonians expressed deep frustration with the political process. There's something called democracy, so we need dialogue. You get nothing by hitting people and by using judges. So it's dialogue, dialogue and dialogue. Many demanded independence, not a view shared by every generation, including an 82-year-old pensioner who says he's known tougher times. We, uh, we have been uh, f uh, four years uh, or, or more without any, using any, any kind of violence, and we've seen that doesn't work. The Spanish authorities show no signs of making any concessions.